for the past one year, a lot of changes have been made to the USMLE step exams and also requirements for uh, marching into residency programs. Um, these changes, um, someone could see them as a blessing and also someone could see them as not very good. Um, it depends on um, the subject of the matter. So um, some of the changes, are, for example, we saw the first one was that the CS, um, step two CS, um, that the clinical skills has been replaced by the OET, that's occupational English test. And also step one has been made pass or fail instead of the original um, three digit scoring system. So um, for me, I'll say this is very good. Initially, some people were skeptical about why the changes were made, but I think this is very good um, for the step one. So going forward, the step one is going to be scored pass or fail. So um, students, originally, we wanted to get very high score before we write the exams and also um, before we can uh, sit for the step two. And then some people wasted a lot of time, like um, two years, three years, four years, five years, some people have been doing this for 10 years and um, if step one alone is taking all this time and when we go to the clinic we don't really need um, too much of the step one information but it's more of the step two management and critical interventions um, for the uh, patient conditions that they present with so those are the things that we need so step one um, is being made pass or fail so that students can focus more on the clinical knowledge and then they can better represent themselves when it comes to patient care in the hospital. So it's a very good thing. Um, it's, um, it makes students um, uh, be able to have uh, enough time for uh, the step two exams. The OET also makes it um, easier. It saves a lot of time for especially most foreign students who have to travel to the United States to take the CS. Now they can take the OET from wherever they are. So that is something good. It's, uh, it's, it's cost effective, uh, saves a lot of money, saves a lot of time um, also. But in this video, I'm going to talk more about um, my step two journey so far. Um, it's not been that easy. Um, because uh, after my step one, I took some break. Um, usually I love to um, have a full time at home, not working. So um, I went back to work and decided to save some money towards my step two prep so I can stay home for about six months without working. I should be able to still afford my, my insurance vehicle payment and also be able to pay for my uh, monthly rents, yeah. Um, so when I started with a step to exams, um, I began to gather resources. Some of my resources so far um, have been the Step 2 C cable. I did um, some of, um, I do Anki also, and also um, I do, um, I also do some uh, basic concept from the first aid, the Step 1 book. Um, so this brings me to the question, if you world is enough for step two most people say you world is enough but anki helps to retain some of the information um, that we gather from um, the you world also i realized that they also still ask some of the step one basic concepts so um, i still keep my step one uh, first aid book for a reference step two also has all the information but i realized that step two C, uh, CK um, for the step uh, for the exam like the, the book the book has similar information as the U world um, CK uh, Q bank so it's more of repetition so I'm um, going forward I realized that hey um, it's better to focus more on the step to uh, U world as people have uh, been saying so this is one very um, important resource that I've been using, which is the U World. Um, other people also do um, Ambos. Um, I did a six month subscription for the U World. Some people do Ambos. And um, depending on if you want to increase your score or those who want to score very high, um, they also do. Um, some, some some people want to increase their scores. They also do step, some step three of the U World to. Um, to boost their knowledge. The USMLE RX is also there. Kaplan is also very good. Lecturer, uh, I've heard, is very good. So it's it all depends on what you want, like the kind of score you want, the amount of time that you have to 
um, to prep so, yeah um my us subscription was for six months was 420 dollars like 419 dollars at three months is 369 dollars one month is 269 so it all depends on you and if you're using more than six months i'll say go for one year which is 519 dollars depending on your geographical location it varies a little bit and amboss is relatively cheaper one month is 79 dollars three months is 149 dollars um six months is 299 and one year is 299 so um you could see that um, six months of Amboss is like one month of Shoe World. Um, the step three is also there uh, if you want to do it. It's also ranging between um, four hundred dollars and uh, five hundred fifty for one year. Your some RX is also relatively cheap. And um, one month is fifty nine dollars, and two years is two hundred and forty nine. One year is one seventy nine. Kaplan um, is also not too bad. Um, so, uh, USMLE uh, Step 2, U World CK, has um, 4,000 questions at the moment. Amboss has about 2,500 questions. Step 3, U World has about 1,800 questions. And USMLE RX has 2,300 questions. Kaplan has 2,900 questions. And Lecture has 2,100 questions. So, uh, if you are able to do a few of these Q banks and then um, you should see great improvement in um, in your um, scores for sure yeah some people ask this question are the books as important as the Q bank personally I would say the Q banks especially the U world that I have done it's, it's reflective of the book it covers all the chapters that um, we should know from the book so um if you want you can compare them yeah, when they, when you submit a question on you all you can check from maybe the step two the ck on that topic and there may be little variation but you all gives you enough to be able to uh, to pass um, this um, exam so that is something that you should look at um some people ask also like how long should we study for the step uh, two exams typically people who who start um, who start studying for step two right after step one you need about four to five months that's what most people do but if you take a break then you're looking at between six months to eight months so personally i'm doing six months to seven months um, um of, of of intensive studies um, to get ready for the step two um, exams so that's what i am doing personally um yeah so now certain topics like the u world uh, biostats it's also important u world uh, cubans covers it um they also have bi high yield biostat books that you can get on amazon they have 100 concepts from kaplan and all that very important surgery also you can buy um, certain high yield um, books for that and that should also help um, you so for me um the most important thing that i'm doing for for step two is memorization of concept and then making sure that i compare a similar topics that look as whatever i'm reading for example when i was doing um when i was doing neuro um, the neuro conditions like the especially the demyelination conditions they really look alike and you have to know which one comes with the proximal muscle weakness which one comes uh, start from the leg which one starts from the head and all that so uh, um, it's very important so what i do is i i make sure that i make notes and um, if i want to show you my notes so just like this so when i do any question from you world i make sure that um, i make notes and do comparison to as to whatever um, it looks alike i also highlight the notes um, just to make sure that um, i highlight the very important salient points and um, so that i can remember when i am um, i'm going to take my nbmes so when i when i'm ready to take my nbmes um, as usual for the first, uh, step one exams um, i'll spend the um, I, I i take three days to prep for the nbme so i'll make sure i read all these u world notes to to um, make sure that i have fresh knowledge uh, before i um, write um, the nb and me and um, hopefully i should see a very high score 
um, or I, maybe I should, I should make a good score. Let me put it that way. Um, hopefully, I should make a good score. And so, um, yeah, these are some of the things that I am doing for my step two prep. And going forward, I'll bring you more videos and tell you exactly uh, things that are really working for me. Um, I wish you all well in your preps. Um, those who are taking step one, I wish you well. Um, I'll say don't waste so much time on step one and make sure that you are uh, passing your nbmes and go take the step one and then um, you will do well thank you for watching this video um, i love you all i wish you good luck see you in the next video bye